Hey guys, it is Sharon back with Little Britain Company, and I am here today with a, a, a very exciting Dollar Tree haul. Um, went to Dollar Tree in Tarboro, North Carolina yesterday. It is not the giant Dollar Tree. We are still planning that trip. We've had a couple of couple of reasons not to head out in that direction because it's quite a drive for us. Um, but we will do it, and I promise it's coming in the next like two or three weeks. I promise. So it might be what we do for Memorial Day weekend. Do you like that? <laughs> I'm like doing my hula. I'm ready for summer. Um, so oh, before we go too far, I always have to show you my Timu earrings because that's pretty much all I do now. A new pair of Timu earrings each day. Um, so those are the Timu earrings. And oh, I just got another Timu haul. You know me in that chair. I'm constantly resituating. Um, I got another Timu haul in yesterday. So once I have it prepped and ready, I will go ahead and do some videos. And it should be coming out Monday afternoon. You know how I like to drop videos around 4 if I can, 4 p.m. So be on the lookout for them then. Um, <laughs> the, uh, the dogs are upstairs hanging out with um, Big Brit, Little Brit. So they want me joining us today. But on the next Timu haul, they will. At least one of them. L probably Cupcake. Um, she found a brand new favorite treat. My One of my my last Dollar Tree haul, I think I showed you these um, Nature's product. They're like really wholesome dog treats that they had gotten in. And um, Cupcake, who's our little one, uh, can be finicky. She thinks she's a cat. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> She thinks she's a cat. She uh, think of a cat attitude. That's that's cupcake. Um, <laughs> sweet as pie. Um, however, uh, she we so often she doesn't like the treats. Sophia will eat whatever is whatever is in front of her. Um, I pulled those treats out. I opened them. She must have smelled them from a while away because that little dog was jumping a mile high to try to get to them until I got her calmed down because they don't get treats unless they behave. Um, Anyway, so there's our little story about Cupcake today, uh, but what I have for you today is a little bit of a Dollar Tree haul and then kind of my top 10. I was so excited to find some things that I had not seen, um, a couple things that I had, but oh my goodness. So I'm going to start with some other things, give you a, a couple of little things that I found, and then we will do the top 10 things, uh, dollar, my dollar, let me not stumble over my words my top 10 Dollar Tree finds uh, for this week. Okay, so um, not there yet, but I found these. I think these are really cute. I think these are adorable. I'm going to stick them in my front planters. I have some other um, tall spiky grasses there, and I need to put some new flowers in, but I'm going to try to hide these amongst the flowers um, just to get a little bit more light on the subject. <clears throat> so these are great. Solar, of course. Um, and you just get this, you know, it's so much cuter than just the plain ones, I think. I mean, I, I wouldn't want to do a whole yard of them. That wouldn't be me. But a, but a couple in the front planters, I think that would be just really nice. Um, I did find this great, oh my gosh, guys, this is a National Geographic book on tsunamis. This is not a cheap book. This originally was sold for $16.95, and I'm betting it still is. Um, so it was a great deal. Really great deal. Uh, this is actually for school. I'll be taking this into my school. This is the kind of thing some of my students would like to see and have around and available. So that will be a donation to my school library. Um, let's see what else did we get here. I found some more of these. I have hauled these before, but they are wonderful. They're, um, they've got the um, you know, glittery uh, type stuff inside them. And they're just so cute. This is definitely, you know, straight from Japan. It's by a company called Fashion Angels. This is not, oh, it's based in Milwaukee. Interesting. Um, called Chop Stickers. Um, this is not a Greenbrier brand. And I have not looked it up. I found these once before and I grabbed a couple of them and I should. Um, maybe I'll add that to the description. If I can find out how much these sell for online, because I'm guessing it's more than $1.25. They are really neat. They are very special, and they do have um, like a liquidy gel on the inside. I don't know if you can see that. Here, I'll move it around a little bit. Uh, but a liquidy gel on the inside. They're just, I just think these are really super cool. Um, so I'm going to add those to my sticker selection. 
I did get, this was, this almost hit my top 10. I think this is an honorable mention because it's the original super glue. And I like these little containers. And then I also grabbed the gel one. Um, I don't like using super glue. It scares me. <laughs> I, I don't know. I think when I was growing up, my parents would always tell us, you'll glue yourself together. I don't know what it, um, um, but, um, I, I'm old enough to remember when we only had like 13 channels and late, late at night, the super glue commercials would come on with this guy, like gluing his helmet to the thing. Um, yeah, these are really good deals. Uh, and my husband uses these all the time. We need them all the time. I just, I just don't like to use them. I don't know why it makes me nervous. Seriously. Not a lot makes me nervous about that, but super glue makes me nervous. We all have our interesting phobias. Um, I did pick up some of this, uh, nice border and, um, I will show you. So I, so let me show you what I'm doing with this. So I picked up the border and I also picked up this glitter this glitter one, and I picked up, did I get the other one? Yes. And I got this yellow. Uh, so of course these two are like the, they're, they're like a big giant sticker almost. They're the thing that you would use with your crickets. Um, and this is border for your classroom. So for the school, uh, we are doing a big yearbook signing party. We're, uh, the kids are super excited about it. But in order to help our yearbook sales, which is important so that we can continue to provide it for the school, um, we we needed a way to get the kids, you know, to have to order enough so that everybody can have an option. Um, so we had ordered. We you have to order two hundred. We had only sold one hundred and seventy five. So I said to my yearbook partner, "Let's throw a party, and only the kids with the yearbooks get into the party. But all the other kids still get to do a signing party." And we made sure that everyone would be involved. Everyone has options. Um, but the kids who bought the yearbooks get into sort of the more exclusive um, party because kids, we all, I think, like to be exclusive. Um, now, to be fair, if every kid in the building bought a yearbook, everybody would get into the exclusive party. Um, and everyone had the option. So uh, we had about 40 yearbooks left to sell, um, which was which we were going to have to pay for out of pocket. The school was, and that can be very expensive. We either could sell them or we could take a hit on them. If we sold them, we'd make a profit. So once we decided to do the party and then to sell the, the whole thing, anybody with a yearbook, we sold out in six days. We had like three week, three, no, four weeks to sell them. In six days, we sold out of everything we had left. <clears throat> I am super pumped about that. And I think that it's going to help us get those yearbooks into kids' hands early when they're so much cheaper. Because at the beginning of the year, they're only like $35. And um, and it will, may also help us sponsor a few kids who may not be able to afford the yearbook. But if we have extra income from some of the things that we're doing, we can help. Uh, and that's something that makes me feel good. You know, having your yearbook memories can be really important. Anyway, <clears throat> so... We sold out. We're doing a big party. I bought all the Dollar Tree Hawaiian accoutrements. I will try to do a video for you on all the different things that I bought for the party. Um, I don't think I can actually take pictures of it once I decorate uh, the gym and things because it is a school event and, you know, those, those things shouldn't clash. Uh, but I can show you because I bought it. Um, so, uh, super excited. I'm getting to the bottom of my story. I know. Forward ahead if you don't want to hear the story. Um, <clears throat> so for the kids who didn't, cause we, our school has like 850 kids and we sold about 210 yearbooks. Uh, we had a little bit of an overrun and we had the extra. The kids who didn't get it, we still want them to have a chance to do signing and memories. So we created, so I'm creating these little memory books, um, with, uh, some heavy cardstock fold it in half, I'm gonna put papers inside them and attach it, but I didn't just want it to look like this little stapled together. You know, I want it to look nice for them. Where our school colors are blue and gold, so I wanna put some kind of a gold emblem on the front of this, uh, basically it's eight and a half by 11 folded in half. So I wanna put like a little gold emblem and I couldn't find any that either they wouldn't come in time or and uh, they were very expensive. Here is what I'm thinking. Y'all tell me I know. I'm getting to the part of the story. Here's what I'm thinking. 
I, I wish this was in gold, but I could do this. I could take this size, which would be about a decent size. I think it's, so it's four and a half inches. So four and a half inches isn't bad. I could do that and just cut it by maybe two and then just put that across the front. That would be yellow. It's, I mean, it's pretty close. Um, and that won't take as long. I could do this one and cut it into the strips and then cut it down and still have the same amounts. And then if I had any extra, I could use it to cover the corner. Please keep in mind, excuse me, we decided to make 250 of these because not every kid's going to want one. Uh, but we decided to make 250 of these. So that's a little bit of effort put in, but I'm okay with that. But anyway, I was thinking about this one. Or my third option, this would be a little bit um, more substantial, I guess. It, I don't know whether it'll look better, uh, but I could cut this straight across so I have basically a square, and then I could cut out sections of this one and then attach those. Um, for 250, I think I would need several of these. Um, I think I may only need one of these, probably only one of these if I'm not doing the side. Y'all, please let me know what you think. What do you think? Which one? The small yellow, the large gold cricket, or the border? We'll do a vote. <laughs> see what y'all think and I'll and I'll take a picture and show you what I what we end up coming up with but it's not going to be attached to this video because it's not um okay anyway thank you for helping me with that really <laughs> um I picked up this one set of stickers it just uh, I don't think I've seen this one um if I have it, it was last year and I don't remember <laughs> um but I really love these pineapples this just this is very summery to me and that just sounded fun um I just picked up this cute little, you know, little bird's getting a little bit old for this stuff, but every once in a while he just likes to be a kid. So thought that would be cute. I'll give it to him later. Um, I found that I found only found one of these. I found this adorable little sassy kit, sassy and chic. But I just thought these were so stinking cute. Those little emery boards, and then you've got some other pieces to it. I just thought that was adorable. Um, then I found what do we have next? Okay. For junk journaling, I found this uh, a Fisher-Price Alphabet uh, learning cards. I don't remember if I've seen these. And again, sometimes I do haul a lot. <laughs> I do work with a lot of different things. Let's see, is it all out? Nope. Ha, the A was sticking around. So one side you have the alphabet and look at those cute pictures. Look how cute that is. Let's just take a look. We got bears. Oh, look at these. Oh, it, it tells you're trying to find something that starts with D or a P or an M. Dance, panda, music. That's really cute. I didn't know that was in there. Oh, look at that under the sea one. Oh, golly, I love that one. Oh, oh, oh these are really, really cute. Honestly, if Little Bert was little, was still little, little and still learning, I would pick these up for him. Okay, these are super cute. I like that umbrella. I'm going to try to peek in with you here. We can enjoy the experience together because I hadn't looked at these at all. Oh, I love these. Oh, my golly. Okay. These are, oh, my gosh, the octopus. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> I keep going off. These are absolutely fabulous. Okay. Love those. Love the, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm up close and personal. I also got this compare and contrast. So let's take a look at this one too. Oh, I'm so excited about these guys. Yeah, I know, I'm a little close. Hi. <laughs> you gotta have fun in this world. Okay, let's see what's on these. I have not looked at these at all. So on this side, so it looks like you've got all of these or this one, this is really cute. This makes me think of um, Toys R Us, the old Toys R Us. Okay, it's got information about how you do the compare and contrast. But these are so stinking cute. Oh my gosh, I like that alligator. I'm trying to breathe. <laughs> I'm so excited I'm trying to breathe. Oh, how cute. So you actually get a series also of like a, a similar animal or the animal doing different things. That's what I'm trying to... Oh, these are so cute. So if you wanted to, you could also pay like... Pay... You can play, go, go fish with these. 
or you could play a memory type game with these with your kids sorry the teacher in me always comes out i love this little monkey i really really do look at the little mouse i don't know if there's more than one mouse i only see one mouse okay there's one so you'd have to look through okay super cute okay love that that probably should have been on my top 10 now that I'm looking at it because they're so cute. <sighs> breathe, you're gonna breathe. Okay. Um, all right. We're down to some material uh, that I wanted to show you. I'm really starting to get more into the Dollar Tree material. I have seen this one before um, and this one. And so I'm going to go ahead and open these up because I always do, although I may have shown you some of these before. Um, I'm hoping to get some sewing in today. It's kind of a yucky day. Um, and we did tell Little Brit he can pick whatever he wants to do today. So if he wants to go bike riding, if we can, weather permitting. Um, we have a really good museum nearby. We have a good museum in Raleigh. It's not too far to go. Um, he, we have, you know, we would go on a hike if it wasn't raining. I don't like to walk in the rain. Actually, I don't necessarily mind walking in the rain. No. Um, there's Chuck E. Cheese, which where he can play a whole bunch of video games. It's the closest thing to video games for kids. Um, anyway, so I told him whatever he wants to do. This is so pretty. Okay, so you've got this really pretty unicorn fabric. Uh, my plan with this is um, because I think that this would be really cool. I don't know if you all have ever heard of mug rugs, but a mug rug is something. It's probably about this size, about that. So that's maybe 10 inches. Um, yeah, it's about maybe 10 by 7. So it's not a huge piece. It's like a, it's almost like just a small placement, uh, but something for you to put something small on like a cup of coffee or a hot cocoa or whatever it is that, you know, or your soda and maybe a little snack. What I was thinking is mug rugs generally, I see them and they are intended for adults, but why wouldn't we do one of those for kids? Uh, because when our kids are having their little snack, a little you know, a, this cute little thing that can go wherever they are, a cute little placemat for them to put their snack on, um, keep the surface nice. So I'm going to try making some of those for my next craft fair. Tell me what you think. So I thought this would be just adorable. I think some the, that uh, there are some um, kids out there who would just love that. Love that. Okay. In particular, I think that we probably got some girls who would love it? I mean, there might be some boys who love it too. Okay, what's next here? We have the, oh, again, I think that this would be good for adults or children, and that's kind of how I'm going to talk about them. Um, so also the mug rug, you know, I'll, I'll quilt a little bit on it, and often you do a split. So you'll have like maybe this on one side and maybe something slightly different on this side. It sort of denotes drink on this side, food on that side type thing. It's just, you know, um, I think this is adorable. And for some reason, maybe it's, I've really, really gotten into the Alice in Wonderland. I decided I really wanted to do an Alice in Wonderland uh, junk journal. And um, and so I, I have started that whole process. If you've seen some of my hauls, you know that I get junk journal stuff. Um, my wonderful friend Kate sent me some beautiful junk journal stuff and, my, and some happy mail uh, for my Alice in Wonderland. I found some more in this newest um, Timu order coming out uh, that should be posted Monday. And I found more than I'm ordering today. <laughs> I'm ordering another Timu order today. But it's got some really cool Alice stuff in it that I hadn't seen. They don't mark all of the Alice in Wonderland. Alice or Wonderland or anything that helps me find it. So you really, really have to hunt, uh, which is interesting. I think that uh, one thing Timu could do better would be, I know I'm talking about Timu during Dollar Tree, but one thing Timu could do better is, is uh, in their descriptions. Um, just to make them, you know, more descriptive when they're for, for their American uh, company, when they're when they're selling in the U.S., um, there are certain descriptions I think that would really help. Uh, I think I just showed you that. I showed it to you again. I don't know. I'm not even thinking. So the, the mushrooms, I think, is why I'm starting to like the mushrooms better. I didn't used to. Um, but with Alice in Wonderland, you really look for the mushrooms. So, oh, this is so cute. Uh, so this is just this adorable... Um, <clears throat> The, the trailers, so cute. Um, in England, they call them caravans. 
I, again, I thought this would make a really super cute uh, mug rug. And with that one, I may go ahead and just, oh, I got it upside down for you. I may go ahead and just sort of quilt around or sew around them so they pop up. And there's a name for that. I can't remember the name. There's a name for it when you do it that way. But I am not going to rack my brain at the moment for it. If you know the name, I would love for you to add it to the description or to, um, description to the comments. Um, I hauled this one recently and I don't love the feathers, but I love the colors on this. I just do. So this is for a different project. This is not necessarily for a mug rug, but it could be. Um, I have just, I have a real big urge right now to sew, but I like to, um, I, although I like making big projects in particular, I very much enjoy quilts and I will do a quilt show for you. Um, maybe I'll do that this week and just haul out some of my, uh, my quilt tops cause it's quilting, completely quilting them. It's a little time consuming. And I gave one, uh, I made a Halloween quilt for my eldest son. I think this one's pretty. Again, I think I've hauled this one. I just think it's pretty and it's bright and it's cheerful, it's cheerful. Um, but I made one for my eldest son in Halloween cause it's his favorite holiday. And, uh, I think probably because I would, uh, when he was growing up, we would throw Halloween parties for him and all of his friends every year. And they were a huge hit. I mean, we would just have <clears throat> all of his friends over and we did that up until ninth grade. The last one I think we did, he was in ninth grade and still all of his friends came. And, uh, and that was one where I bowed out a lot more. I was still around cause you know, teenagers get into things. Um, but, uh, but I've got, you know, he's got some pictures from that that I think are just great memories. For Little Brit, we started doing that. And then, um, because I didn't start it until he was like mid-elementary. And then COVID. And no Halloween parties. So, anyway. Um, I picked this one up. I think this one, I don't think I've hauled this one before. But to me, this one looks very um, by the seashore. This makes me think of a, of a starfish. Or waves. Something like that. Thought that one was really cool. I'll probably find out that I did haul it before. But we'll see. This one I know I didn't. And then thinking about doing these mug rugs got me super excited to do this one. I also have a great nephew um, who really loves dinosaurs. And he is wicked smart and can name everything and what they do. And he is wicked smart. Um, so I found this cute. Now this is this is just so cute. And I thought again that this could be a really super cute little mug rug for a little boy or girl who loves dinosaurs. Um, and I'm, I'll add something bright to the side of it. Just give it that extra oomph. Uh, and this last one just goes with everything. It, well, not everything, but it goes with a lot. It goes with a lot of what I bought today. Bought? That was a weird accent for her. What I purchased today. <laughs> um, I know you, I don't know if, if you hear my Southern accent, I was actually born and raised in Virginia. Um, but my parents were both from Illinois. So growing up, that's, you know, your voice patterns are usually based on the pa your parents around you for your initial years. <clears throat> so I don't think I have a huge accent, but I still, I still come off Southern sometimes and people in other places often could hear the Southern. I can't hear it. Okay. So I thought this one, which is kind of this uh, tie dye piece could go well with that. And I was thinking it would go really well with this. I think those two go nicely together. Um, it probably would also work well with that. Maybe not. So this just had a lot of options to it. Okay. So that is all of the stuff. Are y'all ready for the top 10? I'm ready. Okay, if you're waiting for our top 10, here we go. Coming in at number nine, we have this really fun little clip-on light. And I will tell you why this is my number nine, because this just makes me think 1950s. I just think it's super cute. Um, and I do love that you can kind of put it anywhere. It's not necessarily just a book light or whatever. Um, I just thought that was just really cute. And it was, I just like the kind of the vintagey feel of it. Um, at number eight, these were kind of tied, um, is this nice little portable screwdriver. 
uh, only because I think everyone should have something available like this. And um, I probably won't put this on my keychains, but I'll keep it. I'll keep it in my bag uh, because having a little portable screwdriver can be, you know, very handy. Uh, very, very handy. Okay. That was, um, wait, this was, I did it wrong. Coming at number 10. This was number 10. This was nine. <laughs> you can't. Let's see how I put numbers on there. Okay. This is number eight. And I just thought this was hilarious. And I do live in the Tar Heel state. So, you know, the, the footprints, um, I just thought this was fun. They had a lot of different um, uh, colors and things. Uh, this is hearts, but I, at first I thought it was, um, uh, like mermaid, uh, scales. And I, so I still think it looks like mermaid scales. So I just thought that was really cute. So, um, that's number eight. Okay. Um, number seven. And honestly, only because I haven't tried it. Let me make sure I get this right for you. This, um, chapstick total hydration. I can't wait to try this. And they're getting in, I mean, this is the kind of stuff that you're going to pay five or six dollars for in the regular stores. Yeah. Um, number six, right? Coming in at number six, we have these really great polo socks. And it was just the donuts, guys. They're so fun. These are sizes five through nine. I wear a size 11 shoe. I know. It's so unfair. Everything's in size eight. Um, <laughs> so, uh, I just think these are really cute and I like that they're not, I mean, I like no shows, but they, they tend to like slip into my shoe and that just makes me nutty cuckoo. Um, so I like that, but I just thought the donuts were fun. And these actually look like they're a little bit nice that they, they, you know, they're closer to that nine. So maybe they won't be so difficult for me with my humongous foot. Okay. Where were we? Guys, I keep losing track. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Wait. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. We're on 5. Okay. Coming in at number 5. Oh, this was such a tie for me. Is this. Oh my gosh. So this looks like, of course, the, the you know, the, the cups. And it's so cool. I bought four of these. Um, I will use them at the party for the kids for um, just for like a little activity. They're going to be out there for three hours and they're not going to sign yearbooks for three hours. So we also have pizza coming in and we thought we'd grab like some smaller balls or some beach balls and have them outside too, where they can do like some stuff in their private party tent. Um, Cause the other kids are only going to be out for an hour each for each grade level, uh, six, seven, and eighth grade. So anyway, I just think these are great. These are substantial. These are not like a thin, skimpy plastic. They are, um, they are green bar. They're imported from China, from China, from Canada. And I was, and a lot of stuff imported from Canada that's coming into green bar has uh, some French writing on it. I will tell you the stuff coming in that, that is being imported from Canada is good quality. Um, because it is required to undergo Canadian standards, which are quite frankly, higher than U.S. standards. Um, they just are. So this, so a lot of the things coming in from Canada, that's why we're looking at like a, like a better quality. Um, these are substantial. These are not flimsy icky. Uh, so I can't wait. And these are fabulous for your, you know, for any kind of summer activity or any kind of activity. Um, they had these in different colors. They didn't just have the red. I want to say they had a blue, a green, maybe an orange or a yellow. I think they had four colors. I got the red just because it's the most iconic. Um, so that was number five. Four, three, yeah. <laughs> I'll get better at this. If I'm going to do a top 10, I'll label them next time. <laughs> okay, coming in at number four. Look at this. I gotta say, I love this. You know, yes, we do have an ice maker, but sometimes you want to make something else. And here's what I love. It's got this little silicone thing. So when you want your ice out, you don't have to uh, just punch them out one at a time if that's what you want, especially if you're making something slightly different, like you're freezing, you know, something 
you know, for the kids, something that's got maybe a little Kool-Aid in it or something. Um, not Kool-Aid, not Kool-Aid. Uh, but if you're freezing something else, like a little icy pop thing, I love that they pop out the bottom. They had these circles, which I like, and they also had like a little um, rectangle, which was also super cool, in different colors. So the same colors that I was mentioning, and I'll show you in just a minute. Okay, so that was four. Okay, number three. I just bought one of these through Timu, and it was okay. It was okay. So let me see the quality of this. These are the ones that you set up. Honestly, it looks pretty darn similar. So these are the ones that you set. I don't know what just happened there. <laughs> that you set up and, I went too high. Okay. And you put them out for your, um, to stop the, <laughs> one moment, please. Okay. <laughs> So I, because I pushed this up, instead of pulling it from here, it kind of mangled the string and it got caught up. This is what you do. So you pull it up and you line it up and it attaches right like that. Honestly, it's pretty much the same way that the other one did. And then you keep the flies and the bugs away from whatever you have sitting out for people to eat. I love this. I think this is super cute. Um, and it's honestly pretty close to the same quality as the one from Timu. Um, they had this in different colors too. So I thought that was really nice. I bought two of those. So that was three. Um, I have combined these to be, uh, oh no, I'm sorry. Look at this one. So that was three coming in at, this is number three coming in at number three. Are these really cool? Um, And I'll tell you why they're at number three and why you should be buying them now. These are going to run out pretty quickly for Memorial Day. And um, they may come back for uh, for um, the 4th of July. That's what I really like them for. But this is what I'm doing with these. Um, I don't, I love the look of these. I don't like this. So what I'm doing is I'm adding like an additional border to the bottom to just finish them. Um, and then they'll look really cute and really sweet and nice. So that was three, and because that was three, no, that was three. This is two. <laughs> All right, so this is going to be, this conglomeration is two, and I know that, that it's a lot more than, but I, I felt like they were all kind of a similar thing. So they had these sets, Catch Me By The Sea. I'm going to do the same thing to the bottom of this. All of these make up number two. These are the different series that they have out right now. And they have the matching, um, this matches, and they've got the matching buckets, and they've got matching of the ice cube trays, and they had some other things too. Um, Sunshine is a state of mind. They had the watermelons. Hello, sweet summer. And again, I'm gonna put some watermelon fabric on the bottom. This is my favorite. I just love this one. Oh. Bring your own sunshine. Super cute. So that all worked as number one because it was sim so number two. I promise next time I will number these and I'll have a list in front of me. <laughs> and it won't be quite such a, which number was that? Coming in at number one. I don't know. Am I at number one? We're just going to call it number one. There we go. Are these... Oh my word. These are fabulous. These are more of the dish mats. Um, and if you've seen me before, you know that I like what I like to do with my dish mats. I will take them and I will um, add like the fun strips to the, to this side and make it like this really cool reversible like this. One second, please. I think I showed this in one of the last ones, but I'll show you again. Um, like this. So on one side, I will do matching like oranges and lemons and things. And then on the other side, you'll get your cool orange. So you can just flip them around. And I also like to, now I am not suggesting anyone else do this, but we actually do use this kind of like a trivet because, you know, with hot pads and stuff, instead of like, almost like a big giant hot cloth, hot pad. Um, but it's meant for drying your dishes or these are just the right size for placemats. So you could also just use these as placemats and they're absorbent. <laughs> so, you know, something spills, 
it spills on something. Okay, let's just throw that in the throw that in the washing machine, but it's going to absorb all the spill instead of him. Yeah. Um, anyway, there's my top ten. I think <laughs> I'll do better next time. I was uh, I'm trying to put this together quickly for you because I was super excited about these things, and this just hit stores. I'm sure of it because I've not seen that anywhere. I haven't seen anyone else haul it. Um, so super fun. That's what I have for you today. Get ready uh, in two days' time for the um, for the next big Timu haul, which is so fun. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing so that you can be notified next time. And it's free to subscribe. Not much is free in this world, but it's free to subscribe. So <laughs> come join us. We have a lot of fun. I can be a little silly, but we have a lot of fun. Okay. Thanks for being with me today. And for all my subscribers, thank you so much. And the dogs say thank you too. Cheers.